be with these lazy bitches, I just raise my price. I'm a boss, I'm a leader, I pull up in my two seater, and my mama was a savage. Nigga got this shit from Tina, I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Today we're gonna talk about how I went to college in Puerto Rico for one year. So yes, the last what one third of it was taken away because of Corona. But during the time before Corona, it was like I don't know how to explain it to be honest, because like there was good things and there was bad things. Like to be honest the the school's very small because i went to inter metro inter-american university of puerto rico and met the metro campus so it was an interesting experience because first of all most of the people that go to the school basically already know each other like they're already in their own little friend group and everything and it's like okay like it's a little hard to make friends because how they already have their own little friend group, right? So when I first started, like to be honest, like I'm not gonna lie, like I I would go to class, go back back home. That's it. I didn't really like hang out a lot because it was like eh, I was still getting to know people. As like days passed, like I met like people in my psychology class. I loved them because they were too funny. Like there was this guy named matthew like he was always making jokes like he was always to be honest like my psychology class like i could pass that class without even paying attention like i was really watching netflix the whole entire time and i still got an a but the thing is like i didn't really like that at the same time it was like i came here to learn like that, what am i paying the school for if i'm not gonna learn so i was like even though i did like the class because of people but like the class itself Mm. I had because I had Professor Delbri mm -mm. even though I feel bad because like dude had cancer but like at the same time it's like he was old enough that he could have retired but he did say that like he stayed teaching because he had to pay bills so I was like oh my god so um yeah so like we had our own little group we made like all like a, a group chat just so we could play Uno together and all that it was fun. Oh my god, I loved my statistics class in the in the first trimester because back backward. Um, <laughs> and in Puerto Rico for the program that I was in, because I was in the English program, is trimesters. So instead of semesters, you do trimesters and you actually finish faster. But if you're transferring to a different school that does not have that, it's a little complicated. <laughs> but um so yeah so backward um the first trimester i had statistic no i didn't have statistics it was um quantitative reasoning i had intro to psychology i had english and i had what was the other one? oh it was um quality of life class so i loved mostly all my classes only one that i was like eh because English, my professor like basically you could have done all this stuff at school. I mean at home because all he did was talk really and like sometimes give tests. That's it. But for the most part we did everything at home. So yeah. But I did love my quantitative reasoning class because the professor I got, Millie. She likes us to call call her Millie because she's just like she doesn't like to be called professor, whatever. If you if she did make you call call you call her professor, then you were in trouble. But that never happened to me because she, she loved me. I love Millie, like she's the best. Um she always helps you with your your assignments and everything. She goes over everything in class. Like if you have any questions, she'll help you. She likes to joke around sometimes and sometimes she takes it a little too far. But <laughs> don't take it seriously, like she's always just joking. She'll always make sure, like, if you if you don't understand something, like, she'll help you out with it. Give you, like, a deeper explanation or whatnot. But, yeah, she was amazing. I loved her. She does quantum reasoning and statistics. So, yeah. Um, My intro to psychology class, I feel like, to be honest, that class was trash. Like, 
I, I just feel like that professor is trash. Like, he doesn't even know how to work a computer, let alone how to take out files and everything. Like, all the stuff that you need to be a professor, he did not really know. So, that's none of my business. But yeah. Um, English, it was alright. Like, it was like, yeah. I can't really say nothing about that class. Um, intro to, I mean, quality of life class. It was sort of like a gym class, but it was fun because like we learned different things. We learned about childbirth. We learned about like cycle of life. We learned. We was just, it was this one time when she got somebody to come in the class to teach us science. I was like, <laughs> that was really fun to be honest. I liked it, even though like I sort of already knew it. I would get hella praise from the teacher because like how my parents like they're puerto rican like you know they like, got no salsa so. um <laughs> i already knew so i was like hey i'm getting lit i was like ah. <laughs> but yeah um it was really fun that was just the first trimester second trimester i had um into intro to psychology two no general psychology two um i didn't take a math that year I mean, that, that trimester, what else did I do? Like, well, I took a Christian faith class. I hated that class because, like, I was so behind. And it was an online class. So, I was, it was just, like, a whole bunch of stuff that you had to read. And it's, like, I hate reading when people tell me to. So, it's, like, I just, there would be times where I would fall asleep. Oh, my God. I would fall asleep during the reading that I had to do. And it was like, I would sometimes forget about the class and it was like, I would get so behind. So I always like make little excuses sometimes. So yeah. Um, I had an intro to a computer class. That class was easy to be honest. It was also online. Cause like all you really did was do like discussions or like just do like little virtual thingies. And like sometimes make PowerPoints, Excel things, all that. It's easy. So I had another English class because you have to take like a whole bunch of English classes for like prerequisite, whatever. And then like that's basics, whatever. You know how you have to do basics before um <laughs> before you get into like specific major stuff. So yeah, you have to do that. English, I love that teacher because she was actually the dean of the department. And like the way she like explained things and like she assigned things, it was perfect. Like I totally understood everything she, that she wanted me to do. And if you didn't understand, like she was always there to like open to help. She had told you office hours, anytime that you could email her and she'll help you right away. And I was like, I love you, I love you. So that was fun. And um, oh my God. I had my friend Angela, Angelica, yeah, yeah, Angelica um i loved her like she was like one of my sort of a best friend in my english classes because we knew each other from the past english class and we was always like sitting right next to each other making jokes and whatnot we was low-key like little doing gossip whatever it was really fun though um she was always telling me stories about whatnot and all that good stuff it was really cool i liked her she was very cool um it was really cool to be honest and then next trimester and mind you throughout all this like i was trying to find a job it was a struggle bro a struggle like it's so compli complicated to find a job in puerto rico to be honest like i understand why there's so many homeless people but that's not my business <laughs> um third trimester it was it was going good i had entrepreneurial culture i had um statistics i had millie again i was like yes millie <laughs> i was like i made sure i got into her class um everybody loved millie oh my god um what else did i have i had english again i hated the professor this trimester like she was just so annoying and then like it got worse when corona came because like she got so annoyed at us for no reason and everybody was like why is she being like this we were so confused but yeah and then i had another psychology class with the same professor Mind you, this professor, I don't even think he graded any of my stuff. Like, he kept saying, like, oh, if you're not in the grade book, then you gotta do this, this, and this. It's like, mind you, I sent him all my assignments that he asked for, and I'm still waiting for my grade. 
I should be getting A's. What is this? I'm still waiting. And the thing is, he doesn't answer emails. He doesn't answer the calls, texts, nothing. He does not respond. You'll get a response like a whole month later. And I'm like, yo, what's going on? So he's just a horrible professor, to be honest. Like, bad, just bad. I'm surprised he's still working here. And he said he was surprised that he's still working there, too. I was like, why are you here then? But yeah, so pretty much that's just it was just a wild experience. I was I wasn't really too happy about going to school there. Only reason why I went into that school because like the school is cheap, like you have to pay ten thousand a year. So yeah, and it was like it was not easy to get into. Like you really just have to have I think over a two point oh GPA or two point five GPA it was super easy to get into. Um yeah and um yeah that's pretty much it about the school like the school didn't really have that many activities like i was in the association of psychology whatever how, however you say it and to be honest all they do is like little seminar things it's not much there was like one time where we set up a beach cleanup that was fun that was really fun i like doing that um it was like with a whole bunch of other people and whatnot um, there was a time where how, you know, everybody knows how there was like a whole bunch of hurricanes in Puerto Rico. We went to go do like help out with that, even though by the time we got there, like everybody had enough stuff. So it's like we couldn't, we didn't do much, but we, we did help out. Like we gave out toys, we gave out sanitary stuff, like so feminine, so <laughs> feminine <laughs> sanitary stuff, whatever um blankets pillows batteries lights all that stuff all that good stuff it was it was a good experience it was nice to feel like help like help people out and whatnot so that was always fun um the school itself is literally like one building and like they have a gym but it's in another building and it's like it's, you could barely call it a gym it was just like a whole like court you could play basketball you could play volleyball that's it um and then it's like a little upstairs area that was like it's not even the same size as my room like it's small maybe if you put my room like a little bit longer that's how big it was and it was like over overlooking the court and it was like that it had like a treadmill it was like other walking things and like a whole bunch of, like barely anything else and then another room was like a hot like sauna yoga thingy i don't even know what that was i never went in there i was like after i saw it once i was like no never again and then there's like a little side part in the parking lot mind you it's like around the parking lot um that's like military stuff and like a, another place where like people who dorm there even though it's not really a dorm it's only people who like came from the u.s and don't have an apartment that live on campus um there's only like a few little houses here and there um it's more like a hostel than a dorm i guess that's that's what my friend said because he did that but that's none of my business um mind you all of this is being shared with um i think it was like a middle school that's like right next door to the college which it was so annoying because in the cafeteria once it was time for their lunch time, all them kids would come into this little small cafeteria that didn't have a lot of space. And it was shared. I was like, yo, and the thing is like, these kids like really took over the cafeteria like it was theirs. I was like, what is this? First of all, why is a college mixing with a middle school? Like why? Like out of, of all the places you could have mixed, really? really that was so annoying that really like annoyed me so much because it's like then they would get all out and it's like what if you were studying in the cafeteria and then all these kids come in and making all the noise and yelling and everything it's like yeah are you serious like <sighs> so annoying so after, even after that um you have the multi piece view which is the the like the leveled parking garage so you have all that, it's like five floors. Um, fifth floor is like where the you're already on the top and some like, and it's hot, don't do that. Try to get there early and avoid that. Um, but on the bottom of the Multipicio is the CIT where you have all the computers. There's some classrooms there 
which is like usually math or like a business class or whatever um there's a couple offices there um inside which is like the what millie calls the fishbowl which is where you have like a whole bunch of computers where you can use to study and whatnot you have people to, there to help you there's sometimes people that that take tests there or what that that need to be she would call it i don't know i forgot the word for it um that like advised whatever i don't know whatever you know what i'm talking about um and yeah you have all that um there's a couple of vending machines there too this yeah that's it um even though it's like to the side like once you come out of the school there's like a street that has like a, there's one that's a little plaza right there has like churches burger king panda red mango and taco bell Mar all this stuff <laughs> and then on the other side on the right side if you're coming right out of the school there's like a little bunch of vendor thingies and there's a gas station all that and there's like a Starbucks like down the street, but like I never went there. But yeah, it was it was to be honest, it was it was not that bad, but it's not the best school, at least not for me. That's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Only to be honest, the best thing about going to school in Puerto Rico is that it's it's hot it's hot weather, but it's it feels good, and you get to wear like whatever you want. <laughs> like yeah. Um. Best thing for me was that like you could literally go to the beach right after school. Like it was it was close enough to the beach, um, but you would have to drive. Like if you knew somebody with a car, like that'd be great. If you didn't have your car yourself, there was always like buses too. But I don't know if they go to the beach, but yeah, to the bus. Um, but yeah, it was really close to the mall to the um, Plaza America. So, um, everybody calls it Plaza because it's like, who else calls Plaza? Unless you're going to Placita. That's where the clubs be. You know? <laughs> I was like going there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was a pretty cool experience. Even though I'm transferring to Texas State. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it's really cool. Um, yeah, that's about it, to be honest. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Bye. <laughs>